Delighted to be joined now on the studio set here by Amit Dias. Amit, welcome. Thank you, Stephen. My pleasure. Now, tell us a little bit about the situation with uh, Alzheimer's in India. In India, we have around 3.7 million people with dementia. So that's a huge load. That's a lot in of fact, people. Yeah, that's a lot of people. In fact, seven times the number of people with dementia in Canada. What you also need to understand is that the number of people, the whole population of India is one billion. It's 30 times that of Canada. There is a difference. It's because life expectancy in Canada is much more. Life expectancy in India is not very high. But what we need to keep in mind is life expectancy is going to increase in the next few years. And so the number of people with dementia are set to double in the next 20 years. Now tell us a little bit about some of your work and, and the study that you uh, undertook. Yeah, I coordinated a group called the 1066 Dementia Research Group for India. It is uh, the 1066 is otherwise uh, part of ADI's epidemiological wing that does research in different parts of the world. Uh, and what basically 1066 means is that only 10% of the funds for research go to an area where 66% of the population with dementia live. So we need to readdress this, this gap. What we also do is something called the needs assessment. We try to find out what is the situation of dementia, what are the care arrangements, who look after people with dementia, and what can we do to support the family members or, or with a person with dementia in India. What can be done? Yeah, what we did, in fact, that was very fascinating, is we did a randomized control trial to uh, give the family members some psychosocial intervention. And what is unique about this, pro this uh, program is that we used lay workers or non-specialist healthcare workers because that is cost effective. We do not have too many psychologists, too many psychiatric uh, social workers. So can we train lay people with a week's training, with uh, supervision, can we get them to do the intervention in the family and does it make a difference? So we did a randomized control trial to find out that and we are very happy to say that it showed a huge impact. It showed an impact on reducing the stress levels in the caregivers of people with dementia. It also reduced their perception of burden of looking after a person with dementia. What we also noticed in the trial that you know a lot of people died during the trial, around 18 people died, but the number of people who died in the intervention group was half that of the people who died in the non-intervention group, which means that the intervention not only helps the caregivers, but also improves the quality of life of a person with dementia. I mean, That's very cost-effective, yes. I mean, thank you very much indeed for sharing yeah. that with us, and thank you very yeah. much for joining us. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank yeah. you. So